In this video, we're going to be taking a look at all the new features in iOS 18 for Apple Maps. First thing you're going to notice is the new dark mode icon for Apple Maps, but that's just on the outside. Now, once you open up the Maps application, we're going to be getting a handful of new features here. So let's get started with number one. The first thing we're getting in iOS 18 for Apple Maps is the option to save places in a library within the Apple Maps app. So right now, if I go into this little section that has the library, I can see all my pinned location, my favorite places, some guides, as well as routes. And places is going to be brand new because if you search something, in Apple Maps, you now have the option to add it to your library right within the Maps app. Adding locations to saved places is quite easy. All you have to do is select the location that you want to go to. If there's a Maps card for it, there's going to be a little plus icon. Once you click on that and save it, it's automatically going to save in your Maps library. And if you go back into the Maps navigation bar and you go into the little listing for your library, you can now find that place in your saved places directly within the Maps app. Next, we're getting the option to add notes to our saved places. This is going hand in hand with the previous video. Feature, but it's also going to allow you to add notes to a saved location in your library. So right now you can see I have Sandbanks Provincial Park here and right below it in the location card I have a note attached which just says clean water and sand and I'm allowed to barbecue. So next time I'm going to this location I pull up the location card I'll have this note that's automatically going to appear here and if you want to add a note to your favorite locations it's pretty simple. You want to go into the location card click on more and there's going to be an option to add a note and inside here you can type whatever once you have that saved it's automatically going to save it onto the location card so whenever you search that location you're going to see your custom note there which is going to be private on your device it's not going to show up on everyone else's maps it's going to be localized on your device only next apple introduced a whole bunch of hiking trail options in apple maps so if you're using apple maps for hiking trails this is going to be very good in the u.s because a lot of them are only available in the u.s as far as i can see um, if you happen to be in the united states and you do hike you can now go into Apple Maps and if you go into a certain location there's going to be regular hikes that you can see and it's going to give you a nice topographic view as well as the route that you're going to be taking for that specific height and you can see the elevations on screen as well so if you happen to be a fan of hiking and you live in the United States this is something that's going to be quite useful next speaking of hiking you also have the option to do a custom route for a specific trail so you can see right here for this specific trail there is no hike trails that's been reported so you can actually create create a custom route that's going to be saved on your device so you know the path that you're going to be taking and you can have a full view without having to always add it back into the maps so you can now create a custom hike trail uh, while you're on foot in the apple maps app and finally a minor change but it is actually quite useful previously when you're searching for something in apple maps let's say it's a fast food a gas station parking or anything like that and you're in a certain area it's automatically going to populate for whatever you're looking for but once you move off screen and you go into a different region you're going to have to search for whatever you're searching for all over again but now in ios 18 if you're moving across the screen to different regions it's automatically going to try populating for whatever you're looking for in that area there's also going to be this brand new search here icon which if you don't see what you're looking for you can click on search here and it'll do a localized search in that specific area that you're viewing so you can see all the details that you would want to know about that area without having to type everything all over again and searching it in different different locations so this new search here button has been a lifesaver and it's something that apple should have included in the past but it's finally here with ios 18 and that's about it for all the new features in ios 18 if you find something new that i didn't mention here let me know in the comment section below but it seems like the apple maps update has been pretty tame this year compared to last year so if you guys want to check out what was new in ios 17 i also have a video on that but that wraps it up for this video if you guys did like this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace